NEB Cutter is a free tool that is used for restriction enzyme analysis. There are many different ways to use the tool. In this video, you will learn how to find out which restriction enzymes can be used to cut your DNA sequence a specific number of times. First, enter your DNA sequence into NEB Cutter. You can either paste, upload, or choose from one of the preloaded sequences available in the tabs. You can also select a sequence from a previous project. You can designate if your DNA molecule is linear or circular. If your sequence is circular, please select Circular. Click Submit. On the default Graphical View page, you can select one cutters, two cutters, three cutters, or list zero cutters. For a full list of restriction enzymes with recognition sites within the DNA molecule, select Custom Digest. Select Enzymes of Interest and then click Digest to visualize where the enzymes cut on the DNA molecule. The digestion information can be displayed as a graphical view, enzyme list, fragment list, or gel. Gel view will display digestion patterns for unmethylated and or methylated DNA substrate. The enzyme list view also shows a full list of restriction enzyme sites in the sequence by selecting N cutters and setting min to one. You can leave max blank. This feature provides a list of all the restriction enzymes that will cut the DNA, number of recognition sites, recognition sequence of enzyme, and enzyme activity in all four any buffers. Note, one, two, and three cutters are particularly useful when trying to linearize plasmid DNA or determine which enzyme to use for RFLP analysis. Note two, zero cutters are useful for engineering unique restriction sites into DNA molecules. First, ensure that the site does not occur in the plasmid construct. Then, introduce the restriction site flanking the region of DNA to be removed. Visit nebcutter.neb.com to get started.